Today's VA claim that can get you a 100% VA rating is chronic fatigue syndrome. The reason I'm talking about this one is because chronic fatigue syndrome can get you a 100% VA rating all alone, on its own, if you get the max and if your symptoms warrant it, obviously. The VA disability ratings for chronic fatigue syndrome are 10%, 20%, 40%, 60%, and of course, 100%. And this all depends on the frequency, severity, and duration of your symptoms. This means the more severe your symptoms are, the higher the VA rating you'll get for chronic fatigue syndrome. The highest possible VA disability rating for chronic fatigue syndrome is 100%. Many veterans, especially Gulf War veterans, suffer from a variety of unexplained medical conditions, and that includes chronic fatigue syndrome. Chronic fatigue syndrome is a complex disorder characterized by extreme fatigue in veterans that can't be explained by any specific medical condition. A diagnosis of chronic fatigue syndrome is often made by ruling out other conditions. It's a ruling out disability. It's kind of weird. I have this. I have a 60% VA rating for chronic fatigue syndrome. And the CNP examiner um, conducted a test for fibromyalgia. And I think what he was trying to do there was um, figure out my chronic pain syndrome and my fibromyalgia or my potential fibromyalgia. What he was trying to do was rule out things. And then when, what he was left with was, I don't know what the hell's wrong with this guy. And I checked some boxes for sure. Combat veteran, Gulf War veteran, He's got this, this, this. He's poking me around on this uh, fibromyalgia test. You know, I have IBS. I don't climb out of bed. I don't give a shit about life. I don't, you know, I have a whole bunch of things going on. Some of these things um, are intertwined with other things I'm already rated for, like uh, for PTSD and depression. Um, and then I also have chronic uh, pain in my feet. So, he actually ended up giving me the diagnosis for chronic fatigue syndrome. Uh, I often talk about not leaving it up to the uh, VA's CNP examiner, right? Their doctor. Uh, and I, I actually wasn't expecting this. Uh, the way that um, I, I built my claim, um, I was, you know, kind of going up the hard way. I was actually trying to increase the rating for my feet and increase my uh, mental health rating and then finally get my uh, combat PTSD award. And I got all that. And uh, at my CNP exam, this chronic fatigue syndrome popped up. And once it landed on the VA Raiders desk, I ended up with 60%. And this is no doubt why I'm 100% and I'm permanent in total. Um, if I didn't have a 60% rating for chronic fatigue syndrome, I'd still be at it. Probably going uh, with a... Uh, Sleep apnea, secondary to PTSD. Uh, IBS was a claim that I was considering filing. That would have been by way of uh, medications um, for my PTSD, the depression meds that I was taking. So fun fact, uh, one of the things they do to, to rule out other conditions is they'll give you a blood test. So um, my CNP exam was actually conducted in a mobile medical clinic. It was in the back of this shitty motorhome. Actually, it wasn't that shitty, but um, it, whatever. It was just kind of funny. Wow, great, awesome. No expense spared, right? They're going to send me to a motorhome to have this test. So um, he ordered a blood test, but for some reason, he didn't have the right tube for this or that. So I ended up not getting the blood test. I don't know if that helped or hurt me, but, you know, <laughs> I sure was happy with my 60% uh, rating for chronic fatigue syndrome. So let's go over the uh, different ratings and talk about this a little bit more. The VA has recognized medically unexplained illnesses, more commonly referred to as Gulf War syndrome, and certain infectious diseases to include chronic fatigue syndrome. Yeah, this medically unexplained illnesses, uh, they call it muckmies, kind of a funny name. A Persian Gulf veteran is one who served in the Southwest Asia Theater of Operations during Persian Gulf War. That's covered under 38 CFR 3.317. 
E1. The Southwest Asia Theater of Operations includes Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, the neutral zone between Iraq and Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Qatar, the UAE, Oman, the Gulf of Aden, the Gulf of Oman, the Persian Gulf, the Arabian Sea, the Red Sea, and the uh, air above these locations, uh, 38 CFR 3.317 E2. The term qualifying chronic disability means a chronic disability resulting from any of the following or any combination of the following. An undiagnosed illness, a medically unexplained chronic multi-symptomatic illness that is defined by a cluster of signs or symptoms such as chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, functional gastrointestinal disorders, excluding gastrointestinal disease. It's complicated. VA disability rating criteria for chronic fatigue syndrome. According to 38 CFR Part 4, the schedule for rating disabilities, paragraph 4.88a, the diagnosis of chronic fatigue syndrome for VA rating purposes requires the following. New onset of debilitating fatigue severe enough to reduce daily activity to less than 50% of the usual level for at least six months. This is the category I fell into. And the exclusion by history, physical examination, and laboratory tests of all other clinical conditions that may produce similar symptoms. Number three is six or more of the following. Acute onset of chronic fatigue syndrome, a sudden and unexpected outbreak or recurrence. Low grade fever, didn't have that. Generalized muscle aches or weaknesses. I do have uh, complaints of that. Fatigue lasting 24 hours or longer after exercise. I mean, I have that, but I don't really exercise. But I guess if laying in bed is exercise, then, yep, that's me. Headaches. Um, I don't have headaches, uh, which is strange for all the things that I have. Migratory joint pains. Now you're going to try that one. Sleep disturbances. 6354, chronic fatigue syndrome, VA rating criteria. Debilitating fatigue, cognitive impairments such as inability to concentrate, forgetfulness, or confusion, or a combination of other signs and symptoms. That's me all over the board. Uh, inability to concentrate, I can't forget stuff, <laughs> confusing. Uh, I'm stumbling through this video right now. <laughs> Um, 100%, right? These are nearly constant and so severe as to restrict routine daily activities almost completely and which may occasionally preclude self-care. So this one is, uh, this is the 100 VA rating right here. Um, if you fall into this category and it restricts, it's just weird how they word this, restricts routine daily activities almost completely. It doesn't say completely. And it also says occasionally precludes self-care. So you could do some self-care. So it's kind of weird, more VA vagueness. Um, so you, you might fall into this for a 100 VA rating. 60%, this is what I'm at, um, nearly constant and restrict routine daily activities to less than 50% of the pre-illness level or which wax and wane wax and wane. Like, who says that? Oh, yeah, the VA does. In the law, <laughs> nonetheless. Uh, resulting in periods of incapacitation of at least six weeks total dura duration per year. I mean, I probably have six weeks total uh, incapacitation in six months. Uh, I, I know this is where I got my 60% rating from. So if you're, you know, just look out for this. If you're a Gulf War veteran, you suffer from mental health stuff, uh, sleep illnesses, you got all your diagnoses. Uh, there's just things going on that nobody can really explain. You know, chronic fatigue syndrome might, might be for you. 40% uh, rating, uh, nearly constant and restrict routine daily activities from 50 to 75% of the pre-illness level. Wax and wane again, wax on, wax off. 
Uh, yeah, whatever. Leave me a comment and tell me how much of a moron I am for not knowing what wax and wane is. And if you do, um, tell me. <laughs> I guess I could Google it. And uh, we'll, uh, I won't read off all these, but these are all the ratings, right? So 100, 60, 40, 20, and 10. Uh, the etiology, which means the cause or origin of chronic fatigue syndrome, is unknown. There's theories, and uh, they range from viral infections to psychological stress to exposure of toxins and chemicals. One thing we do know is that veterans who served in Southwest Asia Theater of Operations are more prone to develop chronic fatigue syndrome, although research, researchers don't exactly know why. Uh, they did a test in 2005, and uh, Persian Gulf War veterans, like myself from the first Gulf War, and that's another thing. Gulf War veterans pretty much cover everything from, from August 1990, when I got there, 91, and then it just keeps going. Um, the wars in Iraq and all that stuff. So it's an ongoing thing. So um, all of us Gulf War veterans have an increased risk for fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, skin conditions, and dyspepsia. Um, there's not a single test, as I mentioned uh, in my opening. Um, you'll need to do a variety of tests. Uh, blood tests is one of them. Uh, I wasn't able to get the blood test because they didn't have the right tubes, but whatever. I don't know if that helped or hurt me. A diagnosis of chronic fatigue syndrome is often made by ruling out other conditions. Sleep disorders. Your chronic fatigue may be due to an underlying sleep disorder. A sleep study can determine if your rest is being disturbed by disorders such as OSA, restless leg syndrome, or insomnia. Um, ask your VA primary care doctor for a referral to a sleep specialist if you think that you have a sleep disorder. Now, in my case, um, I do have restless leg syndrome, although I haven't been diagnosed with it. Uh, my ex-wife told me I had it, but I do have a diagnosis for obstructive sleep apnea and insomnia. So... They weren't exactly able to rule out the sleep disorders because I have two of them on this list. Other medical problems. Fatigue is a common symptom in several medical conditions such as anemia, diabetes, hypothyroidism. Typically a blood test cannot help confirm or rule these conditions out, but um, they're going to give it to you anyway. Heart and lung issues. Problems with your heart or lungs can make you feel more fatigued than normal. You may undergo exercise uh, stress tests to assess your heart and lung function. Fatigue is also a, a symptom of a variety of mental health conditions such as PTSD, depression, anxiety, among others. Uh, again, I have this. It's hard for me to actually figure out exactly what happened to uh, my chronic fatigue syndrome claim because um, I do already have ratings and I suffer from a lot of these things on this list. It was interesting because I filed for somatic symptom disorder, which is a mental health uh, disorder for chronic pain syndrome. And I was given a test for uh, fibromyalgia and the doctor was telling me he didn't believe in fibromyalgia, but he did believe in uh, chronic pain syndrome. So that was a little weird. Uh, but basically, I don't move around, you know, like there's days I just don't even climb out of bed, don't want to climb out of bed, uh, just no energy. And it's just like that constantly. Like I struggle for energy uh, constantly. And then when I do do something, um, you know, it could wipe me out for a week. And it's just no people, no contact, uh, just me waking up at some weird hour of the night to uh, <laughs> pop out a video for you 